Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. Uh, this time around I have another collection to share with you guys. And honestly, I don't know if I've done a video uh, for this collection before, but here it goes anyways. Uh, as you can tell by the title of this video, this time around I'm going to be showing you guys my NES collection. Uh, both boxed games and loose cartridges. Uh, I'm not entirely certain where my current count of games uh, goes to, but I think uh, it might be around 70 games or so. We'll basically just have to see here. Uh, so I know that boxed games, I have 15 games uh, complete in box, uh, so we're going to start with those first. Uh, first up is Adventures of Tom Sawyer. And some of these I have in box protectors, but some of them aren't uh, in box protectors. Uh, All Pro Basketball. Al Unser Jr. Turbo Racing. There's also another version of that on the uh, Super Nintendo. Uh, Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. I think the only Castlevania I don't have is the first one on the NES. Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Some of these are not necessarily great games, but they're noteworthy, so I was like, when I see them, I'll I'll go and buy them. Like this one here, Fester's Quest. And both uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde uh, and uh, Fester's Quest are in pretty good condition as well, if you can see uh, sort of there how good the boxes are. Next up is probably my worst condition box, uh, Final Fantasy. It's uh, desperately uh, in need of upgrading, so I have it in the uh, sort of plastic uh, box protector there as well, just to keep it uh, sort of safe in there. Next is The Legend of Kage, or Cage, as some people have called it. Uh, an interesting action side scroller, but not that great. Uh, next is probably one of my better uh, boxed games. Uh, that is the Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Series uh, version of The Legend of Zelda. That's basically the uh, gray cart uh, version of it. It was released in like 94, 93, 94, around then. Next is uh, Quattro Adventure. It features Boomerang Kid, Super Robin Hood, Treasure Island, Dizzy, and Linus Spacehead. Next is Shingen the Ruler. There's a couple more box games here. Silk Worm, that's the most recent one I've added to my collection. Super Mario Bros. 3, which I found at a thrift store for 3 bucks. Really lucky find on that one. And the last two here are Super Spike V-Ball and the original Tetris on the NES. So that those are my uh, boxed NES games. Let me just move those to the side and get started with my loose cartridges here. Uh, 720, Adventures of Dino Ricky. Uh, some of these have uh, generic sleeves, uh, some have Nintendo sleeves, and some of them have no sleeves at all. So. Uh, sorry about that. Astyanax, Back to the Future, and uh, Black Label Baseball. Baseball Stars, Batman the Video Game, Burger Time, actually really like Burger Time, uh, Cabal, and uh, Captain Skyhawk. Next is Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse. That one's one of my more recent pickups. Uh, Commando and uh, Cyber Stadium Series Base Wars. Uh, I wasn't too certain where to place this in my collection, whether or not I put it under B or C, but I chose to put it under C. Mm. Kind of a stupid little point there to, to note, but uh, it's always kind of a difficult thing to do when you're trying to organize your collection to know exactly where in your collection to place certain titles that can go in multiple spots. 
Uh, next up are these Dash Galaxy and the Alien Asylum. Demon Sword. Destination Earth Star. Dick Tracy. Definitely not a good game, but I mean, it was one of those games that people talk about, so I had to go get it. Uh, Donkey Kong Classics, that one features, uh, what is it, Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. Um, on one cartridge there. And uh, Double Dragon 3. I wish I had Double Dragon 1 and 2, but what can you do? Dragon's Lair, I have multiple uh, versions of Dragon's Lair. Definitely the NES isn't the best one to go for. Dragon Warrior. Absolutely everybody has the first Dragon Warrior. Uh, that has an NES collection, that is. Uh, Dragon Spirit, the new legend. And the last, uh, starting with the D, Dr. Mario. Next up is uh, two more black <laughs> two more black label games, uh, Golf and Gyromite. I actually bought this copy of Gyromite uh, thinking that it was uh, the one that came with the converter on the inside of it, but it's not the one with the converter. In fact, this is kind of light thinking about it now, and I think I might have come across one that did have the converter in it, so I need to look into trying to find one of those. Next is Home Alone. Uh, once you figure out how to play this game, it's pretty easy and pretty enjoyable but it can be hard to sort of get into Hide Light, some people have said this one's like a, a Zelda clone but it actually came out before The Legend of Zelda so who knows about that uh, Infiltrator uh, this one here I've had some bad luck getting it to work it works sometimes but not all the times so I haven't really played it all that much and uh, Jack Nicholas greatest 18 hole of major sorry 18 holes of major championship golf um, I pretty much only have this because I think I got it in a set of other games that's why I have it this next game I got it just because it looked just too ridiculous Kung Fu Heroes and I don't know to me that just looks kind of like a racist caricature but I don't know I personally found that interesting. Uh, Legacy of the Wizard. There's definitely a lot of these Broderbund uh, action series games. I'm thinking that I'm going to try to get as many of them as I possibly can. I recently also got another game uh, in that series that you will see soon enough. Uh, next is my gold uh, cart version of The Legend of Zelda. And The Legend of Zelda... Sorry, Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. Um, as well. Next is a Capcom uh, game, the Little Demo, the Dream Master. Uh, I actually haven't gotten around to playing that one yet, so I don't know what that's about. Tag Team Match Muscle. Uh, this one here, I got it because, uh, as you can see on the cover there, well, on the artwork, I should say. Uh, that guy there, I believe, is supposed to be like the guy from Ultimate Muscle. Um, but I'm not entirely certain about that. But I just saw it and I was like, I'm not going to leave that behind. I really did like the Ultimate Muscle cartoon. Uh, next is the only Mega Man game I have for the NES Mega Man 3. Uh, kind of sucks that I don't have any of the other ones, but they are ridiculously overpriced. And I haven't uh, come across any of them uh, in any thrift stores for cheap. So I don't have any of the other ones yet. Uh, next is Mylon's Secret Castle. I actually found that one kind of interesting, but lots of people seem to hate on it. Uh, Mission Impossible. And uh, Mystery Quest, um, that one there as well. Um, I've, I've played a little bit of it, but I need to put more time into it. Uh, Operation Wolf, Paperboy, uh, definitely not the biggest fan of the Paperboy series, but it is an okay game to play. And uh, here is Pinbot. 
some more movie licensed games uh, like Platoon and another black label game um, Pro Wrestling I don't know why it took me so long to say that one next are my only uh, Tengen cards or Tengen however you like to say it uh, RBI Baseball and RBI Baseball 2 Nearing the end here and getting closer to some better games. Uh, Rescue the Embassy Mission. Mm -hmm. That one's not all that great. Um, it's got its like stealth moments, but it's really kind of hard to play. Uh, Rocket Ranger. And uh, another classic Konami game, Russian Attack. This next game here is pretty much my only... Uh, sort of substantial game uh, in terms of uh, rarity and value. It's an Atsumi title uh, that is a uh, side-scrolling. It scrolls uh, left to right and up and down. Uh, but it's, I'll call it a side-scrolling shoot em up It's called SCAT's uh, Special Cybernetic Attack Team. I've actually come across two uh, okay. copies of this game, uh, but I traded the other one away for a uh, Zelda CDI game, so I thought that was a fair enough trade. Next is The Simpsons Bart vs. The Space sorry, the space Mutants and The Simpsons Bart vs. The World. I think this one here is the one where you have to collect like clothing and stuff while you're platforming or like spray paint stuff like that. I don't know, it's, it, no, I think that's a spray painting one. They're kind of weird platformers. Next is Solar Jetman. And one of the other games I have in the Broader Bund action series that is Spelunker. Just recently got that as well. Uh, acclaimed titles uh, Star Voyager. Here, I think, is my one and only uh, game in this series, Strider, for the NES. And slightly less common, or I should say a lot uh, less common than the uh, combo cartridges, uh, Black Label Super Mario Bros. just by itself. And then I also have the Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt uh, World Class Track Meet Combo Pack. Uh, I do not have the Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt one because I really don't need it and I really don't want to pay money for it either, so I just don't have it. Uh, next is uh, Town & Country Surf Design. Sorry, Town & Country Surf Designs. Uh, there. Tag Team Wrestling. Wrestling games on older consoles like the NES and Super Nintendo and Genesis uh, in my mind are better than sort of more recent uh, mm -hmm. wrestling games uh, and next are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games uh, that's the first one there and then uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 the arcade game just in the home stretch here a copy of Tetris 2 Time Lord and another uh, licensed game, Total Recall. Wall Street Kid. Uh, yet another licensed game, Willow. Uh, there's a movie that's based on. And uh, Wizards and Warriors. Uh, there, I have not played that one yet. The last two games here, Wrath of the Black Manta. And the final game in my NES collection, just Yoshi. Anyways, that is my NES collection, about uh, 70 or so games there. Uh, as always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, check out my Facebook, Twitter, and website. They're all linked in the description below, and also linked in the description below is a link to my 500 subscribers contest video. Uh, check that out if you'd like, and again, enter if you'd like as well. Uh, yep, comments in the comment section below, anything you'd like to say, and uh, that's it. See ya.